Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Oh, the love of God. Oh, it's stuck on the, it's stuck on the thing. Hey. No, all my vegetables. Hello, everybody. Grace Still Blazer. We're checking out a new game for the channel in VR called Chef You. I don't know if it means like F you. It's like a play on words or it's just like Chef University or it's like you get to be the chef. Anyway, the idea is is that we are the chef. We own the restaurant, and a restaurant is pretty sweet. Uh, and if there's one thing I can say about this game, the simulative experience is very thorough. Coming from someone who doesn't know how to cook, okay? My skill at cooking is like microwaving some stuff, maybe pan frying some stuff, and a little bit of grilling. Let's go ahead and get into it. I like the story mode because it kind of teaches us what to do. We've already done the tutorial level, so now we're going to do day one. I think all the rest are locked, yes. So day one in our restaurant. Yes, the tutorial level was a grilled cheese sandwich. When we get in there, you'll see how much crap there is to do. So today we're going to do roasted vegetables and pan-seared T-bone steak. That sounds absolutely morning, delicious. Chef. Oh, good morning there, Jeeves. Our buddy that takes care of the restaurant is going to good check morning, us out chef. in just a second. There he is. You can see he's looking quite dapper. There's a lot of things that we can do here in our land. Also, a fantastic city view. Over here, a lovely piano that, yes, you can in fact play if you know how to play the piano. I don't. So we'll just kind of make some random notes. That stuff over there, we can't seem to touch or move around, unfortunately. I What I wouldn't give to be able to flip the freaking uh, the freaking tables and stuff like that. Over here, though. We do have menus over at Chef U. That must be the name of our lovely law. We'll go ahead and toss that to the s Oh my god. All right, the gravity works a little bit different than I had anticipated. Ho! Oh, almost got it out the window. Now, what would be cool is if you could use this computer here, but it doesn't look like you can. In real life, I suppose, is what that is. Hold on. Can I? Oh, oh. Hold on. Did you see that? Bow! Bow before the ruler! The ruler of Chef Yu! Are we punching him or are we maneuvering him? Oh. Oh, hi. Okay, this is very interesting. Um, I'm not gonna molest you any further. Now, I haven't gone upstairs, so let- Are you kidding me? Wow! This is a fantastic place we have! You can play pool? You can play virtual reality pool? Hold on. Oh, you sure can. Holy crap. Um... Sorry for getting ahead of myself and not making any food, but, uh, hold on here, I need to- I need to see something real quick, are you ready? Here we go, here we go. Uh, oh god, it's so difficult! Playing some darts! You boys know, that's an interesting way for a dart to fly, but whatever. Okay, so, yeah, we have- what the hell? So anyway, this is our realm. This is the kitchen, and the kitchen is very, very outfitted. Um, all these drawers have stuff in them. I think it said that there is 60 different items to cook with, at least, or 60 items that you can make, and then there's just a ton of cutlery stuff. Uh, like I said, you can mess around as much as you want, but there's a lot of stuff here, and you can mess around, recognize. Our wine cellar, looking freaking sweet. If we want to, we can grab a delicious, uh, I don't know what this is over here. This is a sherry wine. Isn't this a cooking style wine? Probably need it. You know what I mean? But if you didn't need it, you could throw it to the ground! I know what you're asking. You're asking Gray, that's a mighty fine knife you have. Does it work on the patrons? I don't know. You like that? You like that? Okay, so we can mess with our maitre d', but while you're eating, madam, have a lovely scalp massage. Okay. Let's get on with the cooking to see if I can actually make anything or if I'll just screw it all up. We're gonna go over to our recipes, and it looks like it wants us to make the roasted vegetables first. Oh, God. That's a lot of stuff. Now, luckily, I think it sets you up. Yep. It sets you up with all the stuff you need in your pantry over here. Grab my bowl over here, put it down. Now, if you feel like you could do all this yourself, hold on. You can go over to order, and you can order everything. I mean, look at this. There's fruits and vegetables, apples, asparagus, bananas, celery, cucumber. There's everything around here. So if you want to order this stuff, you could. All right, close the old door right over there. 
So quarter the zucchini and add it to the roasting pan. Over here, our glorious roasting pan. Ready and waiting for us. Let me get nice and close over here to the, there we go. Okay, so quarter the zucchini. So first we have to find the zucchini in this mess. That's a squash. Oh, there it is, all the way at the bottom, of course. All right, we got our zucchini. All right, guess we're not using that knife. And now, uno, dos, crap, trace. There we go. Quarter the zucchini and everything should be just fine. Chop up a red onion and add it to the roasting pan. Will do. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, the only problem is I'm going to be hitting my freaking controllers together all the time. Hold on, I want to I wanna chop up my onion a little bit more. There it is. Okay, that looks lovely. Okay, just knocking everything over. Oh, God. Okay, go back inside of the, 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 the pan, please. Back inside of the... You can grab everything and knock everything over, by the way. This place is Gray's friggin' nightmare. Okay. All right, cutting board. You... Okay! All right, nope, mushroom. Mushroom, no. No. Don't you leave me, mushroom. You get over here. You get back in your mushroom bowl. All right. Red bell pepper. Right... Red bell pepper. Right over here. Where'd my knife go? Knife. Chef knife. Okay. There we go. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, we want all that red bell pepper. You're gonna get some roasted vegetables if you whether you like it or not. I feel like my vegetables should probably be a little bit more chopped up than this, but we're completing the objective, so what are you gonna do? Like I said, it's not gonna be absolutely perfect for every chef, like if you're a real chef, but it's pretty thorough. Add broccoli, garlic, and mushrooms, quarter the squash. So just add this stuff, like I don't have to do anything with it, I just throw it in. There we go, there's our mushrooms, right? Okay. Uh, we want garlic and mushrooms and broccoli. Where the hell, oh, where's the blur? Oh, here we go, I see a florid over here. Yeah, run of those over there. And another one over here. And then the squash, and we gotta quarter this. So, um, are you supposed to eat the tip? I don't like that tip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it over there. And then we'll kinda, oh boy, yep, just, oh, okay. Oh, that's a, that's a giant piece of squash. Squash, do as I command. There you go. There you go, now you're looking sweet, okay. Season the vegetables with salt, pepper, and thyme. Now you actually have to grab it. So there's a little bit of pepper, you can see it going on there. Oh, doesn't that look delectable? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Finger looking good. Let's go ahead and grab the salt, and then I'm gonna twist my arms in the most inappropriate manner to go ahead and do this, and we're gonna go ahead and salt the roasted vegetables. That looks glorious. And now, thyme, uh-oh. I was looking for time. I found the glass. So... Ooh. Hold on. I have an idea. What's in these drawers? Not what I want. What's in these drawers? Oh, yeah, it's what I want. The corkscrew. We're going to, um... Hold on here, boys. We're gonna have ourselves a little... A little wine break right in the middle of cooking. You know how it goes. This is all sherry wine. I don't... I don't think we're supposed to be, uh... Can we pull this? There we go. I was gonna say, I don't think we're supposed to be drinking this. But, uh, bottoms up, boys. Bottoms up. There we go. A little bit. That eh, doesn't really pour out very fast. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, there we go. That's what we've always wanted. And to top thing up, hey, there we go. Oh, found the spices. What do we got over here? Paprika, cumin. I'm gonna pronounce all these wrong, by the way, because I can't pronounce anything right. Down here, pepper, sesame, ah, here we go. Thyme, right there. Yes, when I was a young man, I used to say thyme. There we go, a little bit of that on there. What's next? We're doing good, man. We're gonna get these vegetables done yet. Bake until all vegetables have a healthy color. What's healthy? All right, over here, I guess we'll open up our guy. Um, what controls this? Not that, not that, not that, not that, this, all right? Uh, I don't know how hot this is supposed to be, so I guess I'll just put it on some arbitrary number. Shouldn't I put, like, some oil in here or something? I feel like I should put some oil in here. There we go. Little oil. Just because I feel like just the, the vegetables roasting alone would be bad, wouldn't they? Okay, now, now let's hope. Here, we gotta do this real slow. So everything doesn't go flying out. Okay. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 oh, love of God, oh, it's stuck on the, it's stuck on the thing. No. No, all my vegetables. Grace still kneels. I don't even know if I'm in the shot right now, but I have to pick all this crap up 
and put it back into the pan. I should have. I should have known. Oh, developer. Oh, your torturous ways. Okay. We've got 90%. Actually, I think we've got 100%. Okay. Nice and slow, boys. Nice and slow. All right, get in there. That was a lot more than I thought it would be. Um, I think it's done. We've waited a short time over here, Martha Stewart style. Let's go ahead and grab the pan. Oh, yeah. Look at those crisp, beautiful, floor-tasting freaking vegetables. No one has to know, boys. No one has to know. And then you got to ring the bell. And we're up. One, two, three stars. Okay. Well, we're not doing bad. I mean, three stars. We could have gotten one. So we did three times better than I thought we would do. Let's go back over here. And let's uh, go to the next recipe. So now we're going to need a pan-seared T-bone steak. No problem. All right. So the first thing that we're going to need is a delicious, delicious steak, which we happen to have over here on this cutting board. Let me go ahead and not knock everything in the universe down as I... Luckily, the steak was wrapped, so... Okay, the steak's not wrapped anymore. So, we... When you get... When you get your steak stuck inside... Really? When you get your steak stuck inside of your... Your counter there, that's all you gotta do is kinda ninja it out. Alright. The steak is fine. Steak, salt, and pepper on both sides. Got it. Okay, this I can't screw up. Alright, salt, pepper on this side. Very good. Salt as well. Oh, yeah. There we are. I gotta do it both sides, though. You can't just do it one side. That would be a half ass job. So, we're gonna do it both sides. Right over here. A little bit of that like that. Oh, yeah. Now, now I'm starting to get this. I'm going to punch and hit more things inside of my room than ever before, but we're gonna do this. Okay. Heat skillet over high heat. Place steak on pan and cook until golden brown. Okay. I think we got a, yep, that's a skillet pan right over here. So let us go. There's like still vegetables hanging around. Um, hold on. Let me, let me turn. There we go. Okay. I didn't want to leave the oven on. I feel weird leaving the oven on. I'm trying to conserve energy. All right. So put the pan on there. No. Turn high heat. So let's go ahead and really, oh, really crank it up. I think that's high heat. Yeah, that looks pretty high. Okay. Now for the steak, not the cutting board. Now for the steak. There we are. Head over and boop. There she goes. Uh, place the completed recipe and ring the bell. Oh, that's really easy. I'm glad. I thought we were going to have to do a lot more. Hold on. Whoa. Oh. Crap. Crap. Steak's on the flame. Steak is on the open flame. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, steak. I'm sorry, steak. Okay. What I wanted to do was... There it is! Flip the steak! Yeah! <laughs> oh! Why'd the steak go straight through the pan? Whatever. Alright. Look, steak. Do as you're told. Okay, good. Now, put the steak over here. Bloop! Right on the thing. And then we're gonna ring the bell. Right there. Completed all recipes for the day. Wow! Five stars! I don't know how, but we got five stars for the steak. Good for us. Now remember, people. Don't be a scumbag. Be kind and save the gas energy. And at the end of the day, go ahead and treat yourself ah, to a fine wine. And then, cheers, sucker. <laughs> and we're done. I think we made it, man. Finish level. Boom. Right there. All right. Sweet. So this game's not too bad. We're getting the hang of it. We can figure this out. What's next on the old thing? Good morning, chef. Good Today morning. We're expecting a food critic, Madame Truman. Okay. Madame Truman is a well-established critic who has been writing food reviews for the better part of three decades. She has seen and tasted it all. She isn't the toughest critic, but she is fair. Okay. All right. Got to impress some food critic? No big deal. Which one is it? That's a guy. It's it's got to be her. It's got to be her. Madam Trumaine, or whatever your name is. Pleasure, pleasure to meet you. Ple Let me just slap my table over there. Pleasure to meet you, the, the pleasure's all mine. You, you're a lovely food critic. I'm sure you're gonna have a great time here. Walking over to our area. Let us go to the recipes. Today, 
We're going to be making a chopped salad. It's actually not that bad at all. Let us begin. Bring it on, cooking game. What do you got for me? Uh, put it on a plate. What kind of plate? Oh, I bet I have to get my own plate. I was gonna say. Uh, luckily, we learned that I think all of our dishes and, uh, and stuff are right over here. Oh! Oh! Oh god! Oh no! Okay, you're gonna get this plate because it's all I have left. Oh, Madam Trumaine, things are already going wrong. That is a big plate. Holy crap. Okay, uh, carrots, cubes, diced carrots on plates. Got it. Let's grab the chef knife. Yes. There's your... It's kind of cubed. I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe it's really not cubed. But we're, you're going to get all the carrots, though. I got plenty of space on this plate. What's next? Uh, dice up the lettuce and add the lettuce. Okay. Well, we don't really have that much. We have, like, one leaf. One leaf of lettuce. I feel like I should have a smaller plate for... Okay. Lettuce leaf getting away from me there. There we go. Oh, yeah. Man, you can dice stuff up pretty small if you want, I think. Oh, yeah. There we go. Cut it nice and smooth. Cut it nice and slow. Like it like it called us a bad name. Dice up the radicio. And add the radicio. Okay. That's this over here. Is that how you pronounce it? Or is it radicio? It's probably radicio, isn't it? That sounds a little bit more, like, chefly. Do we have any chefs in the group? I know we do. We almost always have something of every profession. Or at least someone that can cook way better than I can. Let's go. Oh, man. This plate, it's doing what I think it's going to do. Which It's like getting ready to fly off the table. If you fly off the table plate, I am going to be so unhappy. Oh! Radicio flying! Radicio incoming! Where did it go? Add to celery and garbanzo beans. Okay. Where's my garbanzo beans at? That's got to be inside of a... Uh... That's gotta be inside of an object or something. There we go. All right, I want that celery a little bit more chopped up than that because it looks like garbage. There we go. I mean, it still looks like garbage, but it looks like slightly better garbage. Okay, there's the garbanzo beans. So now we need a can opener. I think I remember seeing one. I don't know how, but we added the garbanzo beans. I'm not gonna question it. I feel like there's, I, uh, there's gotta be a can opener around here. You know there is. Let us go ahead and dice up this corn though. Oh, I love corn. Corn is actually one of my favorite vegetables. I know, I know, it's starchy, but I enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and dice her up real smooth. Re no! No plate! Oh, plate with the moon gravity! Please don't moon gravity on me. Okay, everything's fine. What's next? Half cup balsamic vinegar. Okay, one teaspoon of honey. A half cup of Dijon mustard and a healthy pour of olive oil? Gotta use the mixing bowl. See how it fills up now? That makes sense. Okay, I'll send a tablespoon of honey. All right, now for the honey, you gotta grab your honey pot. Go ahead and throw that over there. Pull this. Oh, this game. This game. Then you gotta grab your honey stick. And you gotta stir it. Oh, okay, hold on. Then you gotta stir it. There it goes. And that gets the- No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. Oh, okay. 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 And then put it in there. Come on. Fill up. Fill up. Nice. Okay. Put that back in there. Don't drop the honey. No! No! Alright, bye. Bye, honey. Okay. We're gonna make this work one way or the other, I swear to God. Okay. Got our honey. Good. And then a half cup of Dijon mustard and a healthy pour of olive oil. Got it. Okay. Yeah. That's no big deal. Where's the Dijon mustard, though? Alright, we got it. We found it. Dijon mustard, right over here. Okay, nope! I didn't need that anyway. So half cup of, really? Oh, I gotta take the cap off too? Whatever. Half cup of this, there we go. Oh man, this, this is insane. So is this a legit recipe? Is this how you would make like some sort of uh, salad dressing perhaps? Okay, healthy pour of olive oil, pour it on top of the salad. We're getting somewhere, man. We're legitimately getting somewhere at this point. I feel it. I can feel it in my bones. All right, a healthy pour of that. That's a lot of olive oil. Okay, pour it on top of the salad. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we want all that on there. This is going to be like the salad dressing of the lifetime. And then, uh, didn't it say salt and pepper? I'm pretty sure it said salt and pepper. So I'm going to put salt and pepper on there because I, we want all the stars for this. Okay, everyone's getting salted and peppered. I was putting the pepper on upside down, so no actual pepper went on. 
But now we're kind of getting there. There we go. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Salt shaker, where are you going on me? Where are you going on me, salt shaker? There we go. There we go. All right. A little bit of salt and pepper. A generous amount of Parmesan cheese on top of the finished salad. Where's the cheese at? It's inside the guy over here. All right. Got my Parmesan. Got my cheese grater. There we go. And then you just got to kind of grind it like this here. Not... Not exactly behaving like it's supposed to, but whatever. There we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yep. It'll be fine. All right. And that right there, boys, is a beautiful, scrumptious, delectable salad. It's like nothing you've ever seen. So let us go ahead and bring it over and see what the madam has to say. There we go. Bam. What do we got? Four stars. Four stars. Sweet. So now we have a new recipe, but uh, sesame crusted tuna steak. All right, guys. I think that's going to be it for now. We've gotten four stars, which is pretty good. We've made a lot of stuff. Uh, and like I said, we are just scratching the surface. All this stuff works. And all this stuff is interact. All this, all this stuff, all, all this stuff is interactable. It's so crazy. You could break stuff and smash plates and throw things and throw knives and cut stuff up. What do you guys think of Chef Yu? If you want to learn a little bit about cooking, it seems pretty legit. Feel free to let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>